where the, before the owners come in, I was there before the owners come in, so I've seen it like grow and grow and grow, which was obviously special to see, especially like a local lab because I literally lived from the new training facility. Now I live like two minutes away, and I actually Crazy. opened up. I actually opened up the um, the new CFA, the City Football yeah. Association Academy. Um, so it was just a crazy, that was like, that was one of the most proudest moments I've had in football, I in that academy, man. Like. So quite, quite similar, which was um, a couple years ago now, um, you were at uh, Man City, um, you know, it's, it's it, from your city, you know, Manchester. Uh, I, I don't know if you supported them or not, but I don't think you did. Uh, yeah, I don't think you did. But um, yeah, uh, tra transitioning. Um, yeah, you were at Man City for pretty much your whole life as well. So um, obviously, firstly, just take me through that transition in terms of uh, how it's been coming out of a different environment and then take me through how it uh, all started. Um, so it all started like playing on the local playing fields, like, you did yourself and all, all the young footballers do. Um, and then I got my, my coach at my local team as a scout for Man City, luckily. And then I got scouted and then obviously signed at 11. And then um, I carried on to be at City till I was 20, 21. Um, and then obviously that's when the time came to kind of part ways. It was, I had a good time there, like, bro, some of the moments that I got to like witness traveling the country, playing in a tournament, playing against players like yourself and playing for my country. Like, I'll never be, I'll always be grateful for the opportunity that they gave me, man. Like, it was special, obviously. And at a time where City kind of went from that stage where the, before the owners come in, I was there before the owners come in. So I've seen it like grow and grow and grow, which was obviously special to see, especially like a local lab because I literally lived from the new training facility. Now I live like two minutes away and I actually Crazy. opened up I actually opened up the um, the new CFA, the City Football Association Academy. Um, so it was just a crazy. That was like that was one of the most proudest moments I've had in football. Over in that academy, man. Like there was Patrick Vieira there. There was Vincent Company. Um, there was a madman City legend. Um, I forgot his name, man. But yeah, and then like the owners, like Shape and so and things. So at the time, I was like. I say I was 15, 16, 17, and I was like opening the academy and like, you know what I mean, in my local area, like that, that was my place where I used to walk day to day. So mm. it was crazy, man. And then obviously it come a time to leave and that's when I had a few loans. I went to Bury, I went to Oldham, um, did well at Oldham and then off the back of that, I got the move to Sheffield and obviously, yeah, so, so it's just been good, man. Yeah, obviously, um, you know, growing up in one environment your whole life and then moving out, you know, it just, take some time to, to uh, adjust to that like did you always think in your head okay now i gotta brace myself this is gonna be totally different to what i've had uh, prior you know at man city um, yeah i know what you're saying yeah definitely man like when it's a sheffield it was like it wasn't a shock but like everything was just different man because like you said i'm in my comfort zone at city i've been there since i was 10 you know what i'm yeah, saying yeah. like this was like just completely different, different people, which we kind of get used to when you go and go and things, but just not the same. You always have to go back to your club, you know that. Whereas the Sheffield was a new start, like obviously getting to know the city and things, it was just crazy. But um, the team just was like, the manager was so good, bro. Like it's crazy yeah. how good he was. I would say I just struggled. I had, um, I had an injury the first season I went, and that just kind of took a like a toll on the season, really, because. I just didn't get going and then the, I had a good pre-season. Um, I was meant to go on loan at the start of um, pre-season then he said, no, I want you to stay. So I was like buzzing, thinking, we're in the prep, we're in the Premier League at the moment. So I was buzzing and played all the pre-season games and then they just got off to a good start, man. And like, yeah. obviously, mm. ball is what it is kind of thing. Like, sometimes you get an injury or sometimes just mm. luck happens. You have to be fortunate, man. Um, and then I, I, we just come to a decision as a club that like, I just needed to go back out and play. Because obviously we do so well, and I just kind of didn't really have a chance to play. So I was, I went to, um, I went to Bolton Wanderers for six yeah. months long. Was that during the time that all the things at Bolton was happening, or did you, did you miss that stage and did you not really see what um, was? 
Well, Bolton had just been taken over by this new company or whoever it is. Um, so everything was pure there. Obviously, we had the points with um, deduction in it, so I knew kind of it was going to be a sticky situation. But for me, it was like, I just need to play, so I'm on loan and I just need to go there and play. And it's a great club, man, that massive club. But like, yeah, massive the club. Stadium, and, you know, the stadium, and obviously they've been in the Premier that, so it's just a shame what's happened. But hopefully now, I think we start to turn around, in it? For more content like this, like, share and subscribe.